Let's say you want to venture out beyond just apps. Where do you go to get ideas for IoT apps and products? Hello and welcome back to Swattage, the software innovation lab. If you're new here, my name is Dale Richards. I'm a software innovator from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I love making software that changes the world. I'm building a SaaS product from concept to cash, and I'm taking you with me for the ride. If you want to build apps, grow your SaaS business, and make money doing cool software entrepreneur-related stuff, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. So you want to go beyond just apps and build some sort of product that incorporates hardware and software in what we call the Internet of Things, or IoT. Where can you get ideas for new IoT products? Before we get into the IoT ideation tactics, there are a lot of things to understand about IoT because it's not the same thing as just building an app. Quick story of someone that I met at an event reached out to me saying, hey, I have a friend who wants to build an app. And I said, great, let's talk. And uh, as I started talking with this person, I found out that this was actually a doctor that wanted to build a medical device. Well, there's a big difference between building an app and building an app that interacts with a medical device for a few reasons. There's the entire hardware aspect of things, but also um, medical devices are heavily regulated. And so there's lots of things to consider in terms of patents, FDA approvals, regulations, etc. So just know there's a difference between building purely software and applications versus software that integrates with hardware. There are several questions that you need to consider if you're going to go into the IoT space. Where do you get ideas for new products? Why even do IoT? Why not just stick with apps? What are some regulations and how can you comply with them? What are the security issues and how can you address them? What are the technical differences between building apps and building IoT products? And how do you find developers that have experience working with hardware? And how can you create a quality IoT product? So let's say you think, hmm, IoT sounds interesting. I want to come up with some ideas for new IoT products. How can I generate those ideas? Well, one of the simplest things you can do is just start walking through your house and asking yourself, what if the things in my home could talk to me? What would they tell me? I sat down with Dan Newbold and Christy Luciani from Tinker R&D to find out what it takes to build an IoT product. And so for the next several videos, we're going to address each of those questions. Autonomous cars, and biotech, and smart homes are, are big phrases you might have heard thrown around. Um, these all incorporate uh, potential products within them, so there's quite a bit. A really big example of a internet connected, like an IoT product partnered with a, a SaaS service is, is a medical product, uh, that RFID. Oh, uh, yes. Glucose sensor. Yeah. Uh, it, they, like, they, right. they had, they started out with a regular, uh, like just uh, using the, the needle and the test strips to, to check your blood glucose and then had a nice application for you to log everything inside of it. And then really quickly, I think before it was even released to the public, they uh, integrated a sensor that would be wearable for a week, uh, and I, like I don't think anybody cared about the, the product before they had that uh, that pairing between the device and the software. Yeah, that's a good example. Another one I can think of in biotech. Uh, my sister is a diabetic, so she has an insulin pump. Uh, they're they're proprietary and extremely expensive. Um, so an opportunity specifically here is for. Uh, autonomizing and even open sourcing uh, medical insulin pumps. Um, this can start to automatically regulate your insulin levels and optimize your delivery. So it can cut costs on uh, extra insulin you're giving yourself when you accidentally don't need to. And uh, it can help, uh, help with the fact of remembering to do it all of the time. It can just do it for you. It can do it while you're asleep. Yeah, that's also true. Coming up next on Swattage, the software innovation lab. Why even do IoT? What are some of the advantages? Why not just stick with apps? Join us again. Videos are published every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon Mountain Time.